Do some cuddles. Oi, you are feeling not ruining. Kula, a do do do, a boo boo. Okay, guys, I actually have to hurry. Guess what? I'm going back to work today. But I'm not going back to work forever. But I am going back to the clothing store to do a full shift. And I haven't been there in what, like a year? More than a year, maybe? So I'm excited. Uh, it's 9.15, we open at 10. I need to go, I, put some, I need to put some clothes on now. We need to go and pick up the key at the government's office where uh, my boss, she works there now. And then we need to go. So we have times of the essence. It's super rainy outside. Christopher's sleeping. And Grip, you're awake. Come, come. Oh, come, come ahead. Is this your teddy bear that I bought you? Yes, it is. My sweet child. We need to throw some clothes on and we need to go to work, Grim. Somebody's got to work, yeah? This is so exciting. Okay, let's go. I have absolutely no idea what I'm wearing, which is scary. Here we are. We gotta go. This is where I'm picking up the key. just in here quick it's been quite busy and I remember how to do the job that's good I think my friends gonna come over and give me some food oh my God, here. the clothing store Frost is the only proper women's clothing store in the village it's located in our small shopping center called Lompen Centret in here you have businesses like a cafe different outdoor gear shops a pharmacy a spa and much more Frost was my main job when I quit from the restaurant at Huset and I worked here for a bit more than a year a common question that I get is what kind of jobs are available in Longyearbyen? And to answer that question, I have to give you a brief history lesson for background. Longyearbyen was known as Longyear City until 1926. The town was established by and named after American John Munro Longyear, a very fitting name, whose Arctic Coal Company started coal mining here in 1906. So coal mining was the main industry in Longyearbyen for decades. The market later on expanded to include industries like tourism and research in Svalbard. Many may not think of tourism as a money-making industry for Svalbard due to the remoteness and harsh weather, but Svalbard caters to niche groups of tourists, such as people seeking snowmobile adventures and the marvels of the aurora. Scientists also consider the location of Svalbard to be a sweet spot where they can research things such as climate change and polar wildlife. So currently the job market is very varied and coal mining is no longer the predominant work available like decades ago. There are plenty of seasonal jobs and every year we have people who come up and work as snowmobile guides, dog mushers, hotel receptionist, and then you have the average careers like within the police force, 
at the community council, you might be a teacher or a construction builder and so on. So Longyearbyen really is just like most towns, just a lot smaller and a lot more extreme. Norwegian is the official language in town, but some jobs accept only English speaking staff. Any Scandinavian language like Swedish or Danish is also in many cases sufficient. Now back to Frost. The opening hours are 10 to 6 p.m. on weekdays, and today I'm just filling in for a few hours. My hourly wage while working here was around 180 Norwegian kroners per hour on weekdays and a little more on weekends. I would say that it is very normal wage for this kind of job and what to expect. I'm hiding. <laughs> Nobody's in here. I saw Jesper's gonna come up with food for me. So he's gonna buy a coffee and a sandwich at Fruvene. Cause I don't think I can actually walk away from here today because there's so many people. But they come and go in like, what's it called? I don't know. But I can't film people, of course, because I'm in here. But most of the people come from the cruise ships or from the boats or they're here visiting. So, and I've met so many people who followed me today, which is so much fun. They come in and they're like, hi, I follow you. And that's really exciting. Cause you know, it's always fun to see the people, you know, that you uh, connect with online. So now, soon, Jesper and I are gonna eat a sandwich, and then I'm gonna go back to work. It is now 12, so I'm here for two and a half more hours. This is actually a pretty nice spot. I'm happy that I remember everything. What's so crazy, it's like I've never left, you know? I think it's one year ago since I was here last. And it feels like it was not one year ago. It feels like it was just, you know, yesterday. Hello! Oh, yo, yo, you were good! So, buy coffee and a. Uh, a sandwich? A sandwich. Would you please mind the store for me while I go pee? Okay. Thank you, thank you. You can sit down here. Sir, welcome to the lunchroom. No. The head of the leave your bearded man, please. Ah. And then you sit here in the women's shop. I'll be back. three nobody's here <laughs> does that mean I'm staying all day somebody was come gonna come and take over from 2 30 who knows I'm just gonna go with the flow I've shopped so many things already I've had I have like a full basket so I'm just gonna tell her like don't even give me a pain check just tell me what I owe you <laughs> that's why I can't work here I cannot work here I just come here and shop but it's not clothes, it's things for the house, it's a basket, it's a gift for Patreon, it's just a lot of things. It's a really nice store. It's been quite busy today, but now it is quite calm because I think everybody has kind of gone to the airport or to their cruise ship and left. Because I think that's the time. Oh, I need a coffee, I have a headache. I don't know, maybe it's the rain. So I think I'm gonna go and break, just get a coffee and just stay here <laughs> for the rest of the day. I don't know. She's probably gonna be here soon. Let's take a little tour through the store. This is the outfit. My favorite. I love this. It's super comfortable. And the shoes. like the storage That was it for today. I am now, I think, gonna go home. I was supposed to go to the gym, but I have such a bad headache that I feel like maybe I should not do that. Like, 
everything is swollen. My nail, like my cuticles are swollen. My new piercings are a little bit swollen. So I think that's maybe in, like a bit of an infection in my body. Okay, whatever. So I'm gonna go home and bring all the new stuff that I bought home. I do this every time I'm at Frost. I just buy things. So I just told her I sent her a list. I'm like, this is what I got. Um, you just don't have to pay me a paycheck and just send me an invoice for what I took. But it's things that I wanted for the house. So it wasn't clothes or anything. That makes it better, right? Okay, it is pouring down outside. So I think it's a perfect day to just go home and maybe chill in front of a some sort of film or a movie, perhaps. Oh, my headache. Okay, so I'm gonna... I am going to do that now. Okay, let's go home. Let's hang out. Here he comes! Am I my fault? Lemon! Hey, my son! Hey, Grim! Shorties! Hello, Grim! And we are back. It's raining. It's not as bad as it was before. Look, it's so moody. Okay, I love it. He's pooping. It's very mystical. But it's very cozy also. It's really nice to have days like these when there's so much sunshine kind of gives you a break but let's just hope the whole summer isn't like this last year was very foggy here comes Grim hey Grim hey Grison you're becoming so blonde <laughs> oh no I'm going to take the skis and put them under the house because they're gonna die where they are now Look, I put them there. That's not an ideal place. <laughs> but look, look at the colors. Can you hear the birds? I can see it, it's on the other cabin. Oi, oi, oi. Oi. Okay, let's go and put the skis away. These are, what are they called? Uh, in Swedish, stighudar. In Norwegian, fäller. In English, I don't know. Oh, skins, I think they're called. So these help you get traction when you walk in the snow. But I forgot about these. So now I need to take them in, dry them off, roll them up, and then they should be good to go for next year. Very smart, very, very smart. Okay, let's go inside and have a cozy Let's go and maybe get a fire going. Hello, Hala. Oi! Nini, 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 come. Oh, for you, you look at the less cavity. Da. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Grim generally only sheds twice per year, like big ones, and I already did a huge one the other day. Like his whole, it was another dog. I'll insert the footage to the side here so you can see. But I could see now that when I took a photo that there's there's some hair letting go. <laughs> and I just want to catch that before it goes everywhere. Also, it must be nice for him 
to let go of all of this warmth and become some little breezy boy. Okay, cool park. Yeah. Gonna move this. I don't mind him walking around. Oi, that's a lot. Bashiko. Bashiko. That's such a good boy. Come. Come here. Do you want him to Come. You know where I need you on your on your back. Lick, lick, lick. Huh? Okay, come on in. Yeah. So, lick it. Yeah. Come here. Lick on the back. Yeah. So fint. Was this your first? <laughs> it was not a lot today, but I'm keeping it all because this is gonna become a grim sweater sometime. Look at this. I have quite a lot now. Okay, Christopher, shall we have a cozy day? Yes, we have been a really nice day. Yeah. Me and Grim been in the boat and sleeping. <laughs> It is 1,000 degrees warm here. I might have <laughs> overestimated how cozy and cold today was. The fire's on and I'm sweating. Now I'm gonna eat my dinner. Christopher just had his. Today I'm eating the uh, food from yesterday, which is chef which is meat sauce. Kind of like a bolognese, but Swedish style. Uh, if you want to cook these, the recipe is on our Patreon. So that's in the description. How are you doing, Grim? You doing okay? This is his favorite spot right here, one of them. The carpet area is his bedroom, living room and play area. He doesn't go anywhere else in the house because he thinks it's too scary. Did I not just brush you here? I'm sorry, sir, but just stay. This is Oh, this is coming out. Oi! Oh my gosh! Oh! I found all of it! Nana, 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 go eat that! I knew it! Don't <laughs> scoot your bum away from me! Oi, oi, oi! Grim, this is. He's. You can feel it! <laughs> It's all in there. Come back with your butt. Did you hide this from me before when we just did this? That's the wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm here. I can feel it. Lift the same thumbs. So what? Uh, so that. That is perfect. So what I use on him is one of these brushes. The flat uh, metal pinned ones. They are great for getting like the hair out without damaging any of the undercoat. Use yours. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. It's so moody outside. Usually in the evenings, if I were to sit here, the sun would be so glaringly in my face. So I'm just gonna enjoy the fact that I can sit here and just feel like it's almost, you know, cozy evening time. It's a lot of boats out. Oof, when I work today, 
I realized that we've gotten so used to the pandemic up here and how little people were here during the pandemic. It was like, it was empty. Cause, oh, I had a comment actually on my video where someone said, whoa, I've never seen Long Yerbin with this much people. Like what's going on? And I was just filming a random day. And I realized that most of you guys who are watching have been with me through the pandemic version of Svalbard. Pre-pandemic, we have a lot of visitors every year. Like the summer, we have cruise ships that drop off 6,000 people. Let me tell you, it's wild. So summer is not my favorite in the village because of that. And then you can have, we have multiple cruise ships every week, every day. So maybe not my favorite season, but then during the winter, it's always a lot of people. So yes, you will see a lot more people generally, probably, if you uh, watch my videos now, because we're getting back to normal. I've been working from home for my own business for what, like a year and a half now? I think so, which, which is why it was so interesting to go back to kind of like my old job now because it puts a, such a different perspective on my everyday life. I am so privileged to be able to do whatever with my time, plan it however I want, be wherever I want to be, get up whenever I want in the morning and work from wherever I want, basically. So it was so refreshing in a weird way to put on clothes, put makeup on, have somewhere to be, do a specific job, meet people. I love that. I met a lot of you guys to follow me, which was so exciting. I love that because, you know, I sit here in my little cabin and I don't meet that many people, which is of course my own doing, but that makes it so much more fun when I leave and I meet people who watch what I do because I kind of connect with you guys in a completely different way. I actually get to meet you and say hi and, you know, get a face to the people behind the screens, maybe, <laughs> if that makes sense. So that was exciting. I have a feeling it's going to be one of those rants. But yeah, it was a really, really good day out and about. 